Okay, back on the Silver Tone radio, I'm going to try to wrap this up with this video. I have the signal generator connected to the radio, and we're checking the IF alignment, which the IF frequency should be 455 kilocycles. However, it is out of alignment. We're going to have to tweak the uh, IF transformers that we repaired because our peak, our peak is uh, at uh, around 435 kilocycles. So you move it up to 455, it's totally dead. So yeah, we'll need to tweak those IF transformers and get them on frequency. But surprisingly enough, the radio is, is fairly sensitive as it is, but it would obviously be more sensitive after an alignment. Okay, we now have our IF transformers aligned to approximately 455 kilocycles. Uh, did a no-no. I had to use this metal screwdriver to uh, align the things, which you're really not supposed to do because the metal screwdriver can mess up the inductance while you're aligning the transformer which makes it difficult but when my plastic alignment tool decided to be elusive I had no other choice but I think we've got it pretty close as you can hear by the audio and the speaker Okay, here we are using the internal loop antenna, no outside antenna, and I'm picking up a hard to get station that's out of town. That's my that's my sensitivity marker. If I can receive this station and that tells me the radio's in pretty good shape. Mostly sunny Wednesday, high 91, then it will be sunny much of the time for Thursday. Another warm day with a high getting up to 93. With your AccuWeather solutions you need, call Purvis and Meridian at 693-COPY or visit our... I'm going to call this one fixed. Way 80 West, 601-69. And here we are back together. You can see the, the red dial numbers light up when the radio is on. Makes it kind of interesting. Likely to be asked about vitamins and supplements than other over-the-counter products. The network designed to all manner of software, whatever you And I still need needs, to either find a replacement dial a pointer or uh, make another one. This one had a translucent red plastic, plastic pointer on it. This is Meridian's news talk station, AM 1010, WMOX. Obviously, has been broken. And there's a rush limp, limp ball. Your listening pleasure. And that station always has crappy fidelity. I think they're kind of overloading their signal a little bit. As you can hear, there's not much in the way of decent AM radio programming around here. This station usually plays R&B and soul oldies, but they appear to be doing more modern soul music today, which I don't particularly care for.
If you want to be on the program, so Jay Carney, White House spokesman, just told a reporter. And later, I'll clean up the case and polish it. I usually use uh, just brown shoe polish for that purpose. So. Carrie, we and of course, I'm just use soap and water to clean the case, and then follow that up with some brown shoe polish. Putting troops in there, we make sure everything goes uh, goes right when we sit in for Mike from here, and we we appreciate that. Okay, I'm gonna call this one fixed. Uh, Mike is taking the day off. I'm here. And just for entertainment purposes, we'll check the old caps that come out of this radio on the old Ico capacitor tester. Checking for leakage now. Uh, yeah, very leaky. We're at only about 50 volts and the eyes remaining totally closed. So, yeah, that indicates a very leaky cap. Cap number two. Leaky is all get out with minimum voltage applied. And this one, I cut the leads too short to connect the tester to it, but sure it's just like the others and this one's obviously blown apart so it's obviously bad okay cap number five leaky is all get out no surprise cap six leaky cap seven well just like the rest of them leaky is all get out and testing the multi-section electrolytic. This was originally a 40 microfarad, 40 microfarad, 20 microfarad cap. Okay, one section is reading 0 0.02 microfarad. So that's a far cry from what it's supposed to be. Section 2 is reading about 6, 6 6.5 microfarad. And section 3 is reading 0.4 microfarad. So yeah, this cap's a goner too. And testing the electrolytic cap for leakage on the capacitor tester. Uh, yeah, that's pretty bad and leaky. And there you go, my circa 1951 or 52 silver tone model 5 tube radio, all fixed up and ready to go, at least electronically anyway. Okay, thanks for watching and more to come later.